Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, Dad takes his simplex out and uh, he finds some pretty pretty cool stuff. He actually finds a, a diamond ring, so stick around for that. That's pretty cool. And he also does a little bit of comparison between the uh, AT Pro and the simplex as well during the later times in the video. And a big shout out to Nocta Macro for sponsoring this video. Once we hit 2,000 subscribers, guys, we're gonna be giving this cool digger away and also this pouch. So, a uh, little side hint, you might wanna subscribe because that digger's pretty cool and that pouch looks like you can carry a good bit of stuff in it. So, subscribe for us, guys, as it does help our channel grow. And let's get right into this video. All right, guys, we're back over to this place that we've nicknamed the, the Toy Land. What it is, it's an old post office there. That was back in the 1800s. This old house here dates back to Stonewall Jackson time. They claim Stonewall Jackson actually stayed in this house and had a soldier die in this house. The woman's told us some stories about she believes there's still a ghost left from this guy here or there, whatever. But anyways, we're hunting this area. I got the simplex with a nine and a half, which I was corrected by, by five on today. And I'm going really, really slow. Uh, this place has been hit hard. She's like, she's like, I can't even believe there's anything in the ground because people have just hammered this place. But anyways, my buddy, he's over here, Dave, David. David is over here. He's down there in the corner down there, but he's totally destroyed this area here with the AT Pro. But we'll see what I got here soon. Hey guys, here's one of the reasons why we call this the toy land pretty cool little find in here in the hole it was coming up at 81 82 i don't know if the barrel's still in there look at that that's pretty cool looking oh even the hammer still pulls back on it still got the trigger in place just missing the barrel let's see real quick oh we'll have to check a little closer and see if i barrels down in there but anyways I've dug a couple of these that's had that long horn steer there so yeah that's pretty neat I like that I'll take it all right here was a really good signal you can see pretty deep you know about seven about seven inches deep coming up a 78 79 on the simplex and let me get it out of here I think I got my first little buckle of the day. Oh yeah, even still got the little piece in the middle. Nice little brass buckle. Feels like it might have some kind of writing on it. But anyways, cool little find. <clears throat> All right guys, I hope you can hear this. I just wanted to show you, or make, let you listen to what I'm listening to today and how you got to really slow down this coil. I got a really, I think, maybe a cool find over here in this hole, but I want to show you some things. This is what we're going through. So you got snap, crackle, and pops a little bit every place. But what you're listening for is just that one high beep. Down here in this hole, I'll show you here. Here in this hole, I got one, two, three, four. There's another one here somewhere. But anyways, I got five nails out of this hole. And I was just about to give up on the hole thinking, you know, maybe it was a nail that made a funky shape that gave me a high bleep. But, over here, this popped out of the hole, and I think it might be a button. I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be a Civil War button, so to speak. I think it's just going to be a um, civilian button. But still, that could have been just as easy a Civil War button. But I got my speed really slow, just listening for a single high beep. And then I fine tune it by just a little, I do this right here. When I get on a signal, I start fine tuning it 
just with them little tiny swings like that. You know, I'm starting out like this and listening for the high beep. Once I find a high beep, then I start narrowing it down with a little tiny baby swings as I call them. It's a slow process, but like I said, we've hit this place pretty hard and I'm still coming out with some decent finds today. So like I said, with this small coil, you gotta really take it easy. This was pretty deep in the hole. I kind of dinged it up when I hit it. Kind of makes me mad. 91, 92 in the hole. Here's what it is. Never heard of this company before. Maybe you guys have. I don't know. We'll get a close of it right now. Looks like it says Dinky Toys. Scout car. Made in England. So I'm got kind of figuring that's probably got some age to it. But anyways. Pretty cool. Goes along with the theme here, Toyland. What I'm doing is, this is the old pool that me and Jordan detect all the time. And right down through here was where the fence line was. So I got that little small coil on, and I wanted to try it along this fence line. It's a lot of bits of pieces of fence, but wait till you see what popped out of this hole right here. All I seen was them diamonds, and I yelled for Jordan. I don't even know what it is. It came up like gold, but I'm not real sure. Break it out together here. But the diamonds look good. Be nice if it was real gold. Might be white gold. Anyways, there it is. But, yeah, not expecting this tonight. I was just out here, had a little bit of time to kill. Cool little find. <laughs> Got him. Okay, here's a good mid-tone signal. Yeah, looking at uh, anywhere from a low 50 to a 60 on the AT Pro. It says about 6 inches deep. Let's see what the simplex has to say. So Simplex is reading anywhere from like a 28 to, to about a 35. So definitely a low conductor. Let's see what it is. Okay, here's pretty much what I was expecting from the AT Pro. It's a pool tab. Um, Simplex, you know, I dug pool tabs anywhere from low 20s to you know 60 I guess it just depends on what the, exactly the pool tabs made from but anyways mid-tone pool tab hey guys here's another mid-tone that jumps up to a high tone There's like a high tone squeak in there. You can hear it every now and again on the AT Pro. But it's in the low 60s to low 70s, jumping around. And it says anywhere from six to 10 inches. So let's see what the simplex has to say. See, simplex pretty much the same as the AT Pro. Anywhere from about 50 up to almost 70. It says 6 inches solid. So let's see what's in here. Okay. It had two nails in there. This is what both of them were picking up. I mean, I guess it's a decent little relic. But it was about mm, a good 8 inches down there where I pulled it out at. And that's what they was picking up. And it was like this in the ground when I got it. It's a wonder you can't see where I hit it with the shovel at. But anyways, both of them picked it up. 
both of them a fairly decent signal I definitely would have dug both of them but it's what it was all right this is screaming a coin on the AT Pro uh, 78 to 81 solid six inches deep let's see what simplex says you can hear that sweet music on the simplex too 78 and when you can make that 90 you're still looking at 70s 80s so let's see what these detectors are finding okay here's what here's what it was I had three nails down in there we're digging all kinds I mean there's so much iron in the ground here but I'm guessing made out of probably copper or brass is what both the AT Pro and the Simplex was hitting high on so I never even really heard the grunt of iron in there so it was just picking up mainly on this looks like a water hose adapter or some kind of a fitting but yeah a lot, a lot of targets in here it's tough digging All right, David was, he's using the AT Max. He come up, he said this was actually underneath the target. This was on top. He dug a nice little, that's a heavy duty buckle. I don't know what that would be used for. Almost looks like a strap that would go around something and maybe cinch it down. It's definitely heavy duty. And yes, that wind is going crazy out here today, but cool find that's like number 12 in here now as far as buckles go crazy amount of buckles and a big old piece of flat iron all right guys prime example why you check your holes david dug that big piece of iron and that iron buckle out of this hole but he didn't give up on the hole and he got a nice little surprise out of it a nice little cradle bell it's got a chunk taken out of it but I love finding the cradle bells it might be just a sleigh bell I don't see the the decoration on it but an awesome awesome find and if he just covered the hole up and kept on going he never would have found it so good job David <laughs> 